just to show that, like, you know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet truly is a flawless masterpiece. Okay. And pause the game. <laughs> so I don't know why this happens, but, um, you know, clearly the devs had enough development time. Dynamax is back. <laughs> Elite Four time, though. We have the gang ready to take on the world. Oh, wait, is that... Oh, that Heracross is just jamming out, okay. I love you could fail this. <laughs> it's like, I don't give a shit about Pokemon. Please tell me the name of the school you are enro enrolled in. I think it was the Manzana Academy. You see. <laughs> oh no, it's just auto-fail. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry, couldn't remember the name correctly. How'd that happen? <laughs> they don't have a lot of people applying for the interview, it seems. Like, yeah, hello again. I, I know we just, like, kicked you out of the building, like, two minutes ago. Have another seat. Tell me, which of the eight gyms give you the most difficulty? Uh, honestly, which one was the first one? We had to employ, like, a lengthy sandstorm, uh, strategy to get through it. It was like, that was like the level 10 one. That actually did give us the most trouble. What was the name of the gym leader you faced there? I, I don't fucking know. Uh, was it Katie? I'm glad you seem to remember. Do you remember which type of Pokemon Katie used? It's like, we're gonna determine if you're, like, um, able to become champion based on, can you remember the first gym leader in the game? Do you like Pokemon? <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking tempted. I'm so, I, got, I gotta see. I gotta see. <laughs> oh, god damn it. We gotta do the entire interview again now. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Lettuce. Just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Honestly, I don't know why you bungled it before. <laughs> Here we go. Challenge by Reek of the Elite Four. Okay, get him, Taffy. Wait, the music's bugged? What do you mean the music's bugged? Is it gonna ramp up? <laughs> okay, I, I guess we'll just play with like the eerie hums. Welcome to the Elite Four. As you can see, we have a lot of problems with this company. That's why we had the interview, you know? We were trying to make sure we could find some staff just to polish things up in here. God only knows we've had trouble with the release cycle this year. It was the Elite Three until we hired that five-year-old. You know, no one else put it in an application. It's just desperate times. Yeah, even like the terror music isn't playing that normally does. <laughs> Oh no, not protect! That certainly shakes things up. What am I gonna do now? Well, that was some tense battle music. <laughs> not bad, kiddo. Oh, give me that 24 grand. You have next squirt, come on out. Oh no. <laughs> of course, it's the five-year-old child who's employed here for some reason. I wait for you to meet my friends. Okay, let's demolish the child. Challenge by Poppy. Heavy slam. Should be fine. That, that did absolutely nothing. Yeah, let's get singing. Uh, if they're all bulky steel types that lack speed, we are just going to win now. Bronzong next. Thankfully, that is another bulky steel type that lacks speed. Okay, what's next? Uh, I believe that is another bulky steel type that has okay speed. Um, but it's still, still kind of lacking, I think. That is another bulky steel type that has middle in speed. It does have sturdy, though. It does have sturdy. This one's gonna live a hit. Okay, really, really capitalized on the situation there, Magnus. <laughs> we just raised my special attack even higher so that the light screen does not matter. Oh, she's got a Tinkaton as well, bless. That's the last Pokemon, though. Uh, Tinkaton, unfortunately, does not have the best speed. I think this might be it. Okay, as long as she doesn't terrestrialize into pure steel type, she'll be fine here. Mm, nope, nope, she couldn't help herself. Okay. Well, uh, good fight, Smalcha. <laughs> Back to preschool. <laughs> God, she sounds like she's dying. Ooh. Ooh, God. Your turn, Mr. Larry. Oh, Larry's here. They called him in. Best one. Hello there. It's me, Larry. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here. In my gym, I use normal type Pokemon. Since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But, well, the boss told me to use a different type here. 
So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. He's, a prof he's always a professional about it. Got him, Tropius. Oh, he's used, I think he's using Flying this time. Okay, get him, Taffy. He's just gonna have Staraptor as his lead again, isn't he? Actually, <laughs> that was normal Flying. Uh, Staraptor? Is this not his final one? He might have a new final one. Why did he use Close Combat on Taffy? I knew it had that, but I didn't... <laughs> he really just, like, picked the random move there. Predict it. <laughs> As you can see, I can plainly see through all of your strategies. Your defeat is inevitable. Please surrender. That's okay, I have the perfect Pokemon to take on the flying type Elite Four. Get him, Candy! Oh, come on, Candy! <laughs> if you can even take down Staraptor, that's enough! Go, Candy! Uh, I can just Dragon Dance it in out. Oh, no. Okay, thank God the bird's quite weak. Uh, I think I can just extreme speed and ignore speed ties here. Oh, no. God almighty, the small bird is destroying us. I really want to give you a run for your money. That's why I'm going to put up quite the challenge. The risk of messing up my suit a bit. It's time to get some wind at our backs. I'm gonna have to take this for the dry cleaners after this battle. Maybe I might get some dry food while I'm there. My favorite spice is salt. Oh no, he's actually tra- he's changed his type. Play rough doesn't work anymore. I can anticipate your every move. I knew I was going to lose this battle, but it paid well. I'm hassled the Dragon Garden, the final fortress of the Elite Test. Oh, that's great if you're the dragon, um, because I've got a fairy type. Okay, uh, here's- it's time for the Taffy Sweep. Okay, Noivern. Oh shit! It's not dead! How did that not die? How did that not die? Taffy's doing her best. Okay, we got Pretzel. Really does look like they're about to fall over whenever they throw the Pokeball. Yeah, Haxorus, that's a bit more interesting. Big boy dragon. Uh, let's hopefully one-shot kill him here. Oh! Oh, come on! <laughs> Get a Broccoli! Oh, that didn't even do enough. Okay, uh, go back into Taffy. Taffy can tag it. Oh wait, no, that's neutral, isn't it? Oh. Okay, time to employ the old strategy. Sandstorm. We just keep switching. I learned this from the hardest gym. Sometimes the only way to triumph is passively, by default. Oh, Pretzel wants to learn close combat. Yeah, that seems actually pretty good right about now. This is the new pseudo-legendary. This is the Dragon Ice guy. Close combat. Oh, he's not gonna be ice anymore. He actually might be good. We're actually in a little bit of danger now. Hard read. Th th this Pokemon is just like as close to Godzilla as they could get. Oh, this might hurt. Come on, Pretzel. Good going. The Elite Four are done. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breed fire. I guess you got over your sobs. Uh, like, what? What? Why are you mentioning a baby dragon? You can do this. We all know you can. Here we go. You're challenged by top champion Gita. Oh, they've actually remixed, like, the Pokemon theme. Get him, Taffy! Lumina Crash. Does fuck off. Go, Taffy! Okay, Avalug next. I'm gonna try and give everyone on the team, like, a chance to shine. But Avalug's slowly gonna melt just under the sun itself here. It's like, oh no! It's too hot outside! King Gambit? I believe this is the Bisharp evolution. Yeah, it is. He's got, like, a seat. 
Supreme Overlord. Well, still Bisharp typing. Go Go is next. This this might be Candy's battle. Sheep versus Goat. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need to get the Thunder Wave in. Oh no, Candy! <laughs> no! Okay, Candy might be in trouble. Candy might need some help. <laughs> Candy might need some help. She's done what she needed to do though. That's all right, just go with the Martini real quick. Candy is blessing us for our one input on the battle. Like, look at Candy go right now. Go-Go wasn't able to get a single hit off on us. Martini wouldn't have been able to take that if it wasn't for Candy's help. Hired carry right there. Broccoli can take this one. She's got a very weird team, doesn't she? I can't even tell what the theme is with all of these. I think she just wants, like, new stuff. Okay, uh, Glamora. Okay, we'll go back into Taffy for the kill. What's his terror type gonna be? Oh, that's rock, isn't it? Oh, that's a disaster if it is. <laughs> I think this might be over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, good battle. I guess we're champion now. You did it, Taffy. What does Larry have to say about that intense fight? Good job. Congratulations, it's my honor to call you Champion Lettuce. Congratulations is right, now I can really say you're good to go. Yeah, you did it, miss. Congratulations. Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the brightest. That's what you got out of this treasure hunt. You were the real treasure all along. The real treasure was the money I extorted from all of you. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh man, I could tell you just looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. No. <laughs> ah, you've got jokes. But seriously, you did become a champion, right? No. Come on, it's me. You don't have to lie. Just tell me. You became a champion, right? No. <laughs> okay, wait. You did become a champion, though, didn't you? You champion, yes. You champion, yes. <laughs> I could do this all day. Let's you and me be best rivals for, for, for life. No. <laughs> Oops, couldn't hear you. I'll say it again. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. Sorry, not gonna stop until I hear you. Yes, let's you and me be best rivals for life. Okay, you'll be my fucking rival, won't you? I'm getting tired of these fucking games, let us. Okay, one final battle. I hope no one walks in the middle of our fight this time. I don't have time to stop to watch the battle. I'm on my way to work again. Larry's off to his third job, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. You're challenged by Champion Nimona. Get him, Taffy. Hammer them down. We're not rivals anymore. Champions. We're having a champion time. As Leon would say. I'm just gonna smash all our Pokemon with a hammer. <laughs> She's gonna take out a Char Charizard any moment now. It's gonna be devastating. I think Arvin's gonna remain the hardest fight in the game we actually went up against. Either him or the first gym in the game, unironically. <laughs> okay, Candy, it's your time to shine. Just the move we need. Come on, you can take one hit. Come on, Candy. Good job, Candy. You've done amazing. Do I switch out Candy or do we just try go for the Candy Sweep? Get him, Candy! He's gonna... Uh, no, the Candy Sweep is gonna take a lot of time. Well, the game's letting me, though. <laughs> the game wants me to go for... All right. Candy Sweep. Come on. Candy, no! <laughs> I really need to up, like, Taffy's, like, uh, attack EVs. Yeah, because it does have, actually, weak physical attack. Good bulk in general. Giga Ten Hammer is like the over the broken bit. Long done sparse. God, he's been robbed. He deserves so much more. Under the hammer. Poor Dun Sparse. Play rough again. I'll do it. Taffy's become too powerful. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. She said the line. Larry, what's your greatest treasure? Salary. Thunder Punch is a weird choice. Oh, damn it. We're actually gonna have to switch. Ready to see how strong Masquerade has gotten. We're gonna hit you with a grass type attack. Oh, 
Oh no. A crit. Right, we gotta bring in our finisher. Here we go. Take on the world, Candy. Okay, this is probably gonna hurt. <laughs> Candy, no! That's okay, because I still have one more strategy up my sleeve. Behold the power of sand! Anyone who has eaten their lunch has had their day ruined by the freak weather conditions. This fight is lost, Nimona. Can't surpass my weather effect. Winning by default and passive means. <laughs> Jesus, in my eyes! <laughs> Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. I'll treasure this moment. Victory road complete. I'll be ready and waiting at the zero gate. I'll send the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Okay, this is it. Okay, this is gonna be like a deep dive of Pokemon lore here. I'm hoping. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Lettuce. I've been expecting you. She's not even talking to her own son. It seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. If you utilize Koridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. But isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Koridon can fly? Like, where are we dropping, squad? What's the matter with it? I'm scared of heights. That's what I'd say. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Penny, you really need to hold on or something. <laughs> Penny, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, Penny's fucked. <laughs> like, she's not gonna survive. Oh, Jesus. Down we go. <laughs> this is the last thing we saw. We died. We died on the road down. There's an area. You should now make your way to me at the zero lab in the deepest part of area zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed in the exterior, which I cannot unlock. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. What's oh, so intriguing? Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? But no, that, that's ridiculous. It's not like we're playing a video game or something. God, I love that trope. Can I not jump? There we go. Oh no, Nimona! No, she's been claimed! Nimona! Nimona! Oh no! Oh, it's the flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, let's take it on together. It's a double battle scenario. Yeah, well, we're like working together, apparently. Okay, well, time to use whole reliable. Good battle. Disable the locks. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Let's keep going. He was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. Cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. My boss was the only one I had to talk to. But yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. Try not to think about it too much. Try to just be proud that she's a famous genius. But the truth is, I'd rather just have a mom who was there, even if she was. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless you. Okay, I need to lower the text speed or something. Right, because this is this is too quick. Hey, look at Jigglypuff. It's good to see a nice, familiar Pokemon down here, too. I don't think that's quite a Jigglypuff. Oh my gosh, so cute. Like, Penny, no, it's gonna bite your hand off. Hurrah! What the? That's Ariana Grande! <laughs> okay, let's just use Giga Thunder Hammer. Okay, I'm assuming it's still Fairy type. <laughs> Taffy's gonna like destroy everything down here. Some of the life forms that you see reside now in an area zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. The, air the zero lab where I am located contains a time machine. All right. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. It's theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it will not be possible to return to the present. Well, it's horrifying. Bomb you. 
Why'd you call us here to Area Zero? Arvanai. If possible, I'd like to, to, us to speak when we meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Oh no, she's gonna be stuck back in time or something. Yeah, she's gonna be trapped. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Penny's metagame in this. Oh, it's another Don fan. See, see? Oh god, I wonder where we're going as far as the map is concerned. <laughs> Game, please. Please, you're spoiling yourself. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Oh, we missed. Get him, Tappy. And another Titan defeat it. Poridon, which I entrusted to Lettuce. It's the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously. A near the Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Koridon. I mean, there's another one around here somewhere. I've successfully brought more and more ancient Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book. A paradise where we, where we three can live happily together forever. We must make it real. Oh shit, there's just one in the wild! Oh, we gotta get this. Scream tail. I, do I just like, Pokeball go? <laughs> like, quickly! No, it's not gonna work. Scream tail was caught. There has only been one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this area is looks amazing. I'm gonna have to like fine tooth comb this and like see how many Pokemon we can catch. There's so much going on here. What happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Hello, children, hello, hello. Initiate and restart. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? I don't think that's the professor. I need more people, more time. That man walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? Only there were two of me. A new assistant has, has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've gotten no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We've been brought in a second Koridon vi via the machine. Though this one has proved aggressive. The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab. Which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Oh shit. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gates of the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They would like to make a break for freedom. Uh, let's go! I'm happy to fight him. It's gonna be Larry in here. It's like... So you found my boss's workplace. I don't try to make calls here too often in person. It's a... Hell of a commute, to say the least. Oh, there's the other one! Family reunion, it's happening! I don't think it's a happy family reunion. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> the Koridon was the antagonist all along. <laughs> I'll get those kids. Just look at Koridon, poor thing's terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, the other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Didn't the professor said the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside. From inside the gate, we just... Oh shit! I guess it's my turn, I've been waiting. Come on, let us, let's do this together. Like, the mushrooms are edible, we can take them. Jesus, they're tough. Thank God it likes to use rapid spin for some reason. What happened to the rest of them? I think we're just fighting them one at a time. But yeah, normally they stand in the background. It, it just deleted them this time. Not a darn fan to feel it. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and let's Pokemon get out. We're gonna have a gigantic mess in our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait. Oh yeah, they gotta stop him because if they're just unleashed on the world, like the mushrooms, they're gonna take over the town. 
Larry's gonna be trying to get to work, and it's like, like all like the taxis are just like knocked over on the ground. <sighs> I hate Mondays. It actually looks quite cool. Fluttermane. Uh, just hammer to the face. Solves most of our problems. I'm guessing that was fairy type. <laughs> These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostiff here can take them. So let us. You take your partner there and go take care of business. You're riding. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. <laughs> I just. That's all I want to say. Good luck in there. Got amazing powers if you use them. And you've got us too. So, so. Don't you, don't you even think about losing that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. Deactivate in sleep mode. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Who are you? I'm an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Oh shit, Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who had failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Koridon to survive and to thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Koridon in an attempt to protect it. I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make a descent. Follow me. Jesus Christ, yeah. I mean, I, I figured she might have not been the real one, but like, I thought she was just lost in time. I didn't realize she was dead. Oh, wait, hang on, there's something written here. In order to better defend the Zero Lab, I have developed what I call the Pokeball Lock System. Once I have identified IDs associated with specific Pokeballs, it can. The rest of it is too faded to make out. It's a picture of a young boy and a mass chief. They look really friendly with each other. Oh, poor Arvin. The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. These Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural power to life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. When they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. Let us. You become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. What if I say no here? Curious. This task cannot be done without your strength. Please, I beg you. Oh, wow, look at this. This is like the... Is this the hexagon Pokemon? No, they tried to recreate it. Oh my god. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which is embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you just try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They're built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. It's like weirdly, so it's like the original professor was almost like the antagonist here, like in terms of like destroying the region with these ancient Pokemon. The AI seems to be fighting against it. It's actually kind of wild. That's a very interesting twist. We've gone from the Gen 8 plot where it's like a man can't wait one day for an energy crisis in a millennium. This is good shit. Access denied. Shut down command overridden. Reinitializing. It is up to you now, Lettuce. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. At last. My, at last my dream is within reach. 
And you're not getting in the way. AI Sada has initiated a battle. She sent out a Slitterwing. It's a Volcarona form. Uh, let's hit it with a hammer. Look at that Volcarona design, it's so fucking weird. Get him, Taffy. She's caught everything in Master Balls, too, so like the system was just straight up importing them. Doing great, Pepper. God almighty, look at it, that's so weird. That's so weird. Ancient Magnet. Still electric type. Of course, my greatest strategy of all. You might remember this one from ancient times. Behold, sand. Jesus Christ, that's not much damage. I know just the Pokemon that can finish the job from here. Get him, Marie. It's pink ball on pink ball. Battle for the ages. No, Marie, hang in there. The sand, the sand. God, she always gets that paralysis in, no matter what. <laughs> you did your best, Marie. You'll survive one of these days. Okay, it's low enough HP that I think I can just use a play rough to kill it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Candy's here to help, though. Saved us once again. Get him, Taffy! Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> oh no, Martini! Oh, that's bad. Jesus Christ is fucking killing us. It's fucking killing us. I can get the sand going again. <laughs> Fucking Christ has every kind of coverage. I don't really have an answer to this thing, and it's fucking annihilating us. Jeez, even that's doing a lot. Jesus. That was scary. Yeah, that's it. that thing seems strong. Oh god, I want to get that. That's so cool. I think the AIs might be disabled now. Let us all know, Arvin. Thank you for everything. The time machine is finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry we were alone so long, Arvin. Mom? Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Blocking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI SATA disabled. Paradise Proto Protection Protocol initialized. Oh god! Sent out Karin. Oh no, Taffy! You can't battle without a Pokemon in the field. Oh, cause yeah, cause it's it was sad as originally. There we go. That's cool. They actually let you figure it out mechanically. You got this, bud. We're fighting for control of the time machine. We gotta just yell at each other a bit. 
Gariot and the Guardian of Paradise. Oriculcum Pul Pulse. Turns the sunlight harsh when the Pokemon enters the battle. The ancient pulse thrumming through the Pokemon also boosts its attack stat in a harsh sunlight. Okay, that, that's pretty fucking strong. Collision Course. Flamethrower, Endure, and Terror Blast. Let's use it. See, look, he does have wheels. Uh, I think I just keep spamming it. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fighting dragon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I toughed it out. Like a champ, you can do this. I know you can. Grind's attack rose sharply. Uh, I probably want to heal. <laughs> Let us Karai and Terrasalize and finish this off. Getting a lot of attack buffs. Oh yeah, no, just every single fucking stat. <laughs> Through the power of friendship. Gonna defeat you. Yeah, this is probably gonna die now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a severe amount of damage. They pose and Karaid and feign it. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold fate in your friends. And the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now. With pride. Take that as a treasure, if you will. <laughs> I wish that I too might be as free as you all as you all. Free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else. Not bound. Wink. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past I have dreamed of. Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. Mom. There she goes. She's taking the book with her too. He's gone. Pokemon Spain without the S. <laughs> what should we do now, Lettuce? Go on home. I feel so sad for Arvin. Like, so his mom's, his mom's dead. He already lost his dad. Apparently his dad just ran off. And like, uh, that was like the closest thing to his mom that he had left and that's gone too now. Like poor Arvin. He still got his dog at least, but God almighty. Let's take the long road home. Get a little more fun out of this adventure. That's great, we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Lettuce, not you too. Right, fine, I guess we're doing this. That's the game. Oh fuck, it's Ed. <laughs> okay, there we go. So DMCA noticed there's an Ed Sheeran uh, jump scare in the credits for this game. That's no doubt gonna flag every single fucking playthrough of this game. Find something uh, appropriate. No, not that. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevent the ancient Pokemon from running rampant across Paldea. Our institution really should have been on top of that, but. Thanks, uh, like, 15-year-old children. For saving the world. Before I forget, Miss Lettuce, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. Oh, sweet! And yeah, we just get a Master Ball. Guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? 
All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. I'm just like goodbye and move on. And enjoy every last day till graduation. My buds here. I'm a boss, of course. Ar Ar Arvin, Arvin's crying inside. Yeah, he's uh, he he's really struggling. He's got years of therapy ahead of him. Of course, I must remind you that you've you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. Jesus, Clavel, give him a break. His mom just died. You need to study frantically to catch up. I have every expectation of your success. What? Let's not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. But we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public. The new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon Battle Contest. Pokemon Battle Contest, you say? Your own vested interest in such a venture more than the parent, Mr. Mona. I think it's a fine idea. Please understand that a large scale event will be quite beyond us. Many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't help but over here. Well, hey, how's it going? Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand at organizing this contest. We have nothing better to do. Most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Oh, we're getting a tournament arc. Those might be able to participate if Champion Lettuce would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Sure. What, what do I got to do? Much obliged, Champion Lettuce. Get straight to it. I'd like you to go and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my steed. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those able to achieve champion rank? As their brilliance start to fade. To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. Okay, we gotta we gotta do a gym leader rematch, yeah. Now and on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny are the patch to weakness in our league point system. There's a bunch of But there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. <laughs> okay, chat, there you go. That's you! It's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Any assist in the league, our new champion is fighting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Poor Arvin. Okay, yeah, we got all the gyms round two, I guess. I mean, you you know you already know who we gotta go see. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything. I assure you. Oh, of course, it's no problem. The Primera is my boss, so I have to do as she says. Now she's ordering students around. <sighs> I'll be facing you in my role as gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal as in plain, average, unremarkable, run-of-the-mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. When all said and done, simplicity is strongest. He's so ordinary. Let's go, Larry! My favorite flavor of ice cream is vanilla. Sometimes I treat myself to a double scoop of vanilla ice cream. Daffy's sinking in the floor again. Oh, God damn it. Some things never change. I don't like to put sauce in my pasta. Just, just plain boiled pasta suits me. I also like boiled rice. Nothing else. Each day for breakfast, I like to have plain white bread. No crust. My favorite salad dressing is water. He thinks pepper is too spicy? Absolutely. It's just salt. Oh jeez, I forgot I had that. Ugh. Go, Larry, go. Would you all please turn the chant down? There's, there's no need to get too noisy. I'm trying to concentrate my work here. My favorite radio station is the weather forecast. The scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well-trodden paths. It will do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. Don't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day now. It's time to go home and get a healthy nine hours of sleep before I get up the next morning for my next day of work. I might treat myself in the morning to a... using the hot water in the shower. I don't want it to get too hot. Um, yeah, let's fight off against a character we don't love so much. Let's fight the VTuber. Primera, your eyeballs are mine! Caught in my Electroweb! Who's a what's it? I oh no! When you're just doing your gym test like yesterday... Actually, it was, uh, a few days ago now. Uh, 
Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab? I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. I hate you. What is their jacket? The wrong size. Wrong size. <laughs> Today's guests are brand spanking newest champion, Lettuce. You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You're all we're talking about recently. I remember your gym test well. It was bzzzt, shocking. This stream's gonna trend like crazy. I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up. But make sure you put the t smash that bell icon to turn on notifications and hit that Twitch Prime button. We call this stream Gym Leader Iono battles like you've never seen before. I'm going to destroy you. Get him, Taffy, it's smashing time. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're out for blood. I just want to see all our Pokemon suffer. Oh, god damn it. She used to be the electric queen back in college. No, you stop that right there. Hey, Pretzel, just please annihilate everything she holds dear. Thank you. How many viewers do you think she averages? Um, I hope she doesn't. What if, what if that's the Pokemon lore? Like, it's just Iona, there's no one watching. Like, here's like mean character lore. She's using bots. <laughs> oh no. Okay, thank God she terrestrialized to make it weak. Oh fuck, it still has levitate. Oh. Oh, this is sad. Whoa, it looks like we unleashed a sick Mei Mei on a fellow streamer RT game there. He got epic trolls there, am I right, viewers? Stop RT, you're old. Over 20. <laughs> 27 is already the midlife crisis point. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm 28 next year. And it's not looking too good the year after that. Having someone as popular as you in my stream was a great idea. I'm trending like the internet's mad at me. <laughs> Wait, no, oh no, so she does get involved in drama. They know. They know. <laughs> Your eyeballs are mine. Caught my. Just close the stream. Close the broadcast. Her streams have doubled in viewers. She had zero viewers before. <laughs> She should have been a poison type gym leader. That would be a commentary. That would be a commentary right there. 